The coronation ceremony of a new chief was packed to capacity with followers displaying cultural dances while dressed in traditional attires. The 44-year-old Ruben Wadukwani will be known to his followers as Ombara. Wadukwani is gazetted as a senior traditional councillor of the Ovahero Traditional Authority, succeeding Chief Hassan Wamunika, who died in 2015. The delay in appointing a new chief shortly after Wamunika's death was due to tribal infighting on who should succeed the late chief. The decision had to be decided by voting and Wadukwani emerged victorious over Seblon Shiworo. The new leader was sworn in by Chief Vipuira Kapuo from the Ovitoto area. In his maiden speech, Wadukwani promised to unite the people of Okamatapati settlement, advocate for children's education and revamp the currently divided settlement's economy. I have a dream of rebuilding Okamatapati. That is what I have told them and I have told them that we need to revamp the economic situation in our small community. We have to, 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 to think big and we have to start thinking economic wise whereas eco thinking economic wise has a lot of things to do. You have to think of taking your children to schools, better schools, make sure that your children finish schools so that they can bring back or plow back in the community. Okamatapati will only be as strong as the families in Okamatapati. Wadukwani will further ensure his people are provided with good training skills programs, bring together small and medium-sized enterprises, and teach them how to improve the marketing and sales of their livestock. He also called on the Ovahero traditional authority to instill a positive mindset among its people for the development of the country. The event was witnessed by Chief Boas Shingaete of Oshombinde from the Omaheke region and other senior traditional leaders.